The church might not be what you think it is. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And I don't know about you, but you know, me and my family, we, we always try to go to church on Sundays. You know, if, if we're sick or, or there's some other kind of emergency or something and we can't go, you know, we, we can't go. But we always try to make it a priority to go to church. And I always kind of thought that we went to church because that was God's house. You know, like in the Old Testament, the Israelites made a temple where God could come and meet with people, right? It was kind of like God's house. And they had so many rules about taking care of the temple because it was so important that, that they got it right, that they very greatly respected God's house and that they took care of it in the right way. And now that I've thought about it, I know that it's the wrong idea, but, but I always kind of thought that the temple was now the church, right? Where you go to church. Because that's where the people would gather in the Old Testament. They'd gather at the temple. So they gathered at the temple and we gather at the church. Just, it just made sense. Well, one time at church, I, I made a comment. I don't remember what I said, but I said something to my pastor about how we were at God's house. And he kind of stopped and looked at me for a second. He was like, Douglas, this isn't God's house. You are. And when he said that, it broke my little brain. Because when he said that, you know, everything, it all made sense. Like, I knew that, but I didn't know it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the Bible says that when you are saved, when you believe in Jesus to save you from your sins that the Holy Spirit will come and live inside you. If you're a believer, you are God's temple, not the church. And when I say that you are God's temple, not the church, I mean that the church building is not God's home. The church building is where we come together to be the church. The church is the people. God lives in the heart of every believer, and all of us together make up the church, which is also called the body of Christ. Which is really cool and amazing because it means, you know, even if your church building burns down or if something comes up and we can't all be together in church, we can still be the church. And that's cool, but it's also a little bit, a little bit serious because as the church, we are meant to be the body of Christ. The church is meant to share the love of Jesus with the whole world. And that's a really big responsibility. And that responsibility does not belong just to your pastor. It belongs to you. It belongs to every Christian. So that's my challenge to you guys today is that you would be the church, that you would be Jesus' hands and feet, that you would show his love to everyone that you meet. And you know what else is that the body of Christ is meant to meet together. Your church building is very special because it's where you're supposed to come and meet with other believers, which is very, very important. All Christians are part of the church. And God wants all Christians to be the church together, to be the body of Christ and share the love of Jesus with the whole world.